and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about why risk is essential in success. A certain level of risk is necessary to succeed in any area of your life. You see, risk and taking a leap of faith go hand in hand. To succeed in your career, you have to risk getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that make you feel uncomfortable, like networking, pitching your ideas, public speaking, or going for job interviews. Relationships require the same level of risk by putting your effort, feelings, and time into something that may not work long term. Taking risks always leaves the chance that things might not work out the way you want them to. But what if they work out even better than you ever imagined? By not taking risks, you will always be left wondering, what if? The more we're able to take chances and replace uncertainty with faith, the more the universe rewards us with more exciting opportunities that help us to grow and get rid of our own self-imposed limits so we can evolve into the best version of ourselves. Imagine if some of the world's greatest leaders and trailblazers didn't take a leap of faith on their vision and how the world could be better despite all the uncertainty they faced by society. Remember, no risk, no reward. As the saying goes, the biggest risk you can take is not taking one at all. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. Mm -hmm. And I did read that at the age of 19, you were importing products from China and that in your mid 20s, uh, you were making 50 million in revenue, which is incredible for anybody, let alone a young person. So talk to us about that milestone and that how that happened. What I did is um, at the time, there was no Alibaba. There was no real way to contact suppliers in China. So, you know, a new tool came out, which was Import Genius. You could find out, you know, suppliers from different companies. You know, I, I had a handful of products that I would basically sell at cost plus maybe 5% or 10%. And, uh, you know, slowly, slowly just grew it uh, to where, where, you know, we were doing over, over 50 million a year. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Canadian entrepreneur, venture capitalist, and business titan, Jazz Mather. Jazz is the founder and CEO of Emblaze One Inc. and Limitless Performance Inc. Jazz, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm having me great. How are you? I'm doing very good. The weather is very nice here in Toronto, which we're very excited about because it's been very dull, rainy weather. So it's the sun is shining, so it's a great day. <laughs> right. Spooky here. Usually it's sunny in LA, but it's quite gloomy here today. But you're lucky. You guys have nice weather all year round, so <laughs> lucky you. Sometimes, yeah. So I want to talk to you about your successful career. Uh, when did you realize your love for business and entrepreneurship? So it's interesting. You know, I've been, uh, I started my first business when I was 11. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was an online website, you know, and I just kind of from there got started learning computers and learning web design and uh, this is starting way back from 96 97 um, went from selling that business to opening other different online ventures um, you know I didn't quite understand at the time what really I was doing uh, and what it was more on the lines of like if it was just business or you know I, I didn't understand business to what I understand it today 20 25 years ago but it was almost like playing video games and, and conquering a different challenge. So anything I would set my mind to, getting in a different industry, wanting to learn new things, uh, wanting to make you know money, et cetera. So I, I look at I look at um, doing business as almost like playing a playing a video game and, and you know passing different levels and you know learning new things and, and so on and so forth. So. Uh, now for me, it's 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 like that's what it is. It's like playing a game. Uh, I have a passion for it. Uh, that's why I like to get into new industries, and I like to get into industries that are pretty much recession-proof and that are always going to be needed in one form or manner or the other. Mm -hmm. And I did read that at the age of 19, you were importing products from China and that in your mid 20s, uh, you were making 50 million in revenue, which is incredible for anybody, let alone a young person. So talk to us about that milestone and that how that happened. So I, I started off, I ventured into a new business. And then from there, once I ventured into it, I, uh, 
you know, I started off with a handful of products, uh, about 15 to 20 SKUs, and then I slowly wanted to expand that business into a lot of other products, um, you know, from going from all the way from satellite TV to all, you know, home electronics, entertainment systems, surround sound systems, cabling, wall mounts, etc. So what I did is, um, at the time, there was no Alibaba, there was no real way to contact suppliers in China. So, you know, a new tool came out, which was Import Genius. You could find out, you know, suppliers from different companies. So I, you know, located a lot of different manufacturers and started bringing in products um, from, from China, a lot of different products, you know, different contractors for the cities and, and different, you know, wire pre-wiring and things like that. I would, you know, I, I had a handful of products that I would basically sell at cost plus maybe 5% or 10%. And, uh, you know, slowly, slowly just grew it uh, to where, where, you know, we were doing over, over 50 million a year uh, for many years at a stretch. And this is when I was uh, living in Vancouver. I had a distribution center in Coquitlam, a retail store in Surrey. And then, you know, we had a huge, huge range of, you know, I'm talking all the way from online sales to, you know, selling to retail stores, selling to distributors. Um, selling, you know, all across the U.S., selling all across Canada. So it was all different um, types of uh, uh, types of uh, lines combined. I love the name of your company, Limitless Performance Inc. So let's talk a little bit about the symbolism behind it and what limitless means to you. So limitless to me means you can achieve anything you set your mind to, or you can you know, go after anything that you set your mind to, really. It's about discipline, it's about focus. Um, it's not necessarily a product. Uh, you know, I was given that name by a friend of mine once he saw how I operate in a day. He came to spend a couple of days with me and he said, you know, this, he saw how I was operating. And ironically, at the time, I was working with, a, with another friend who's a chemist on uh, a formulation of a pill that, you know, gives you more focus and, and energy and things like that, but on a stable level, not with, you know, any kind of jitteriness and things like that. So he's like, hey, you're pretty much limitless. Like you do this thing, this thing, this thing, you know, in a day where I'm combining kind of 10 things at once and just getting everything done. So that's, you know, what the, the name that was pretty much given to me and and based off all the different things that I, that I do. And uh, to me, it feels like, you know, anyone can be limitless. It's more of a mindset thing. And, you know, if you believe that you can achieve something, you really can, but it's about understanding, you know, like, really a purpose behind why you want what you want and then making the right amount of priorities in the day um you know learning what's important what's important here versus what's not important and um and you know really just just maximizing your time and, and being productive so that's what limitless means to me limitless is actually one of my favorite movies and i love the fact that just this little switch in his mindset that he changes it he achieves yeah. massive success so i'm a complete believer in it's yeah. in mindset and really training your mind to succeed so i completely agree with that and you use your limitless mind to i think lose around 200 to 250 pounds so yeah. talk to us about that achievement because that's that's huge that's a huge transformation it was funny so how it happened you know it was so my background is in is in web and it and tech right so back in starting from 96 uh, you, you couldn't really operate your online business from the road uh, you know today you can with cell phones and apps and all that stuff you can really operate a business from anywhere but back then you'd have to be stationary sitting on a computer so i spent you know a good um 10 12 years of my life just sitting behind a desk working you know 18 18 19 hours a day constantly making a lot of money but then at a compromise compromising my health so you know in that in that way at one point my waist was 68 inches my t-shirt size was over 6xl i couldn't really i i mean at, at the, everybody had told me that you know they'd given up they thought there's no way that i could lose weight or things like that so one day it just flicked in my head i mean there's obviously reasons how that that happened but it flicked in my head that i want to do it and i want to start losing weight and I, I put my mind to it and um in the first three months i lost 88 pounds and granted a lot of it you know when you when you have when you weigh so much a lot of it in the beginning is going to be water weight so i lost a lot of water weight in the beginning uh and it's really about what you eat 
right? So that can change everything. Exercising and all that is, is good and it's a plus, but 70% of it is what you eat. So I fixed my eating. I combined that with exercising. I was mainly doing cardio and slowly, 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 I started to lose weight. And when I started to lose weight, that's when I realized that, you know, all the money in the world is great. Um, and the industry, what I was making in, but I wanted a change of life and pretty much I wanted to build a life that I didn't need a vacation from. So this is where I came up with the slogan, reinvent yourself, because that's pretty much what I did. I went from being one person from, you know, specializing in a certain industry and, and just focusing on those things to now, uh, transitioning into, um, getting into an industry that I'm passionate about, that I actually have sweat equity in that I, I believe in and, and you know it's all about looking good feeling great and um, I, I did it all based off my mindset and you're now using your companies now to help people live healthier lifestyles so let's talk a little bit about your brand mission so the, my mission is really to um, take the okay, well here's let me put it in the best way possible you have a lot of people today because of social media that think the other person's life is better, right? So you have people looking at each other and saying, hey, I want what this one has, or I wanna be rich, I wanna make X amount of money, I want a Ferrari, et cetera, et cetera, right? But if your mind isn't healthy, then forget about, you know, whatever, trying to get anything, you're, you're, it's just gonna, you'll go back in a circle, right? So you first you gotta train your mind to be healthy, and then from there, your physical um, appearance and stuff, you know, this is what everybody wants today. Everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to feel great, right? So my mission and purpose here is to deliver that message in layman's terms to people that your health has a lot to do with your success in business. Um, because that's the, the two things, what they require is discipline, right? Your health is something that you can't buy. You actually have to work every single day on it. Your the business is something that you can buy. You can run around and and you know do whatever whatever you want to do, right? But it comes down to understanding the people around you, and then according to that, you know, surrounding yourself with people that are on the same goal as you, same mission, that have the same type of um, you know mindset, and and are looking to achieve the same type of things in life. And that's really really important. So you can go out and buy all these courses from you know motivation and so on and so forth but that's not going to do anything unless you're ready to make the change yourself and once you're ready to make the change yourself you have to evaluate all of your surroundings and, and things like that right so um, it's very important that your mindset has to be healthy first and it takes two weeks it takes a really good two weeks of just you know meditating and being able to focus and really dialing in on what you truly want and why you want it and you know, wake up the next morning and think of that again and say, hey, is this what I really want? And keep doing that over and over and then get all the ideas in your head. And that's what's gonna allow you to go to step two, three, four, and five. You know, my whole brand mission also is to inspire. I use every segment in the introduction of my show to give people advice on changing their mindset, using meditation, using discipline and all these these things to live better lives. So I can, what you're saying completely resonates with me, especially. <laughs> I wanna talk about Emblaze Inc. as well as Limitless. How do these companies help people to live better lives? Talk to us about them. Oh, so Emblaze, so th this is a part that we haven't actually started yet it's something that um, you know it's been my dream to do this so it's been 10 years in the making um, so how this thing happened actually is I started uh, I started off my you know, I wanted to get into nutrition business and I want to get a nutrition business because it's number one from a business standpoint it's never gonna end it's never gonna die um, people are always gonna want you know need to take vitamins and supplements doesn't matter what happens in the world uh, it's an international business so if you start a brand from United States or Canada you can expand it you know you could take it global um, and um, you know so I wanted to get into that industry and plus it's it's about looking good and feeling great so I started stores in Canada I jumped in you know I went too big too fast uh, opened a bunch of stores in Canada and that's because I wanted to transition from online to brick and mortar. This is back in 2011. And um, that's when the, everybody was transitioning to online. I just didn't want to have to work behind the computer desk anymore. And once I opened the stores, I realized I got in too, too early. 
uh, put a bunch of money, didn't really, you know, and, and didn't really know the industry. So I was forced to close the stores in 2013 and then build up again from scratch. So by 2013, pretty much now 70%, 70, 75% of the businesses had, were transitioning to online and brick and mortar was starting to, you know, decrease and decrease. So I decided to open an agency, a web agency. And over, you know, from 2013 to 2015, I turned the web agency into a 360 agency. Uh, so uh, since I have experience in graphic design, print design, web design, web development, digital advertising, SEO, social media marketing, um, I decided to set up the agency, uh, which is called Emblaze One, have all the team hire some, you know, bring some of the best people uh, from all those different fields that specialize in doing all these different things because you know doing web is I try to compare it to real estate It's almost like building a house, you know, you have Contractors you have plumbers you have drywall guys you have painters interior decorators architects so It's the same kind of thing when you're doing web, you know, it, it's not like we're building um, Websites off of WordPress here. So once I set up the agency and I had a you know pretty good portfolio, built a lot of relationships with different um, public figures and things of that nature. That's when I said, okay, now that we have the core, which every business today needs to have either A, an agency as a partner if they wanna scale big, or B, they have to have a service agreement with an agency for constant digital work and stuff that they need to promote their products or services. Um, that's when I said, okay, let me, now that I have the agency, I'll transition and start doing products and start coming out with different products. I started doing development on it. You know, I, I, I have a very, very strong manufacturing partner um, that is uh, that you know has been in the industry for over 25 years. He formulates some of the best products. So we started testing different things. I started trying some of the stuff that he makes. It helped me in you know tightening up my skin, uh, in putting on more muscle, uh, you know, having more endurance while training, things like that. So I spent a good two years in doing research and development, and from there we decided to you know participate in trade shows, expos, because my concept was take Emblaze One as an agency, create um, a sister company out of Emblaze One, which would be Limitless Performance. And Limitless would be the agency for marketing. It would be like a digital marketing agency where we have, you know, advertisers, publishers, things like that. And we can basically, you know, create our own offers uh, with our own campaigns and we can have, you know, put them out to a wide range of different advertisers, affiliate networks, uh, things like that. Plus, we can do our own, our own in-house um, in house marketing. So I, I set up the sister company uh, and think of Limitless as pretty much a brand house now. And then underneath Limitless, we have a few different verticals. So we have like the nutrition vertical, skincare, and then we have CBD. And then below those verticals, we have a series of different brands. So last year in August is when we actually you know, officially launched the products off um, into the market, just straight direct to consumer. We haven't touched wholesale yet, no distribution, things like that. And I wanted to slowly you know, build a good customer base and things. So between last year august and today um we've done over 100 million dollars in revenue we have you know over 600,000 customers uh that we shipped out to all direct all direct all online and now in i'm i'm basically training to do the final finale of what i've been working on the whole time is you know getting down to about 10 percent body fat uh doing the you know the whole final transformation is one thing to lose weight it's another thing to tone your body and put on muscle and things like that right and then from there, my plan is to be the front facing person of all of these products and brands and then, you know, do different speaking and, you know, public speaking and things of that nature where, uh, you know, to get the message out uh, in, in pretty much in layman's terms that, hey, if, if I could do it, then anybody could pretty much do it. You know, I built, I, I, I did it in reverse, whereas most people, they'll be like, OK, I want to I want to launch this product. So, hey, they'll have they'll have the product. They'll slowly. They'll take it, they'll, you know, step by step, they'll, they'll take it and, and launch it. I did the complete opposite. I built, did the agency first, then I built the marketing arm, then I got out and, you know, just started promoting Limitless in general and tying Limitless to me and it's just, you know, putting everything out there. And plus I knew that, hey, if I tie the brand to me and I have the story behind it, which in the beginning I never wanted to, I always wanted to put out the message uh, from, um, 
Like I had it in my head, but I was trying to get it out through uh, other public figures and celebrities and artists and stuff. And, you know, even them, they were like, hey, listen, we can take it so far and we can back you in what you're doing. But you really know how to get it out to people because you've lived it, you've experienced it and your story is going to, you know, uh, resonate better. So, uh, with with everyone, so in in that term, I decided to take the front line and and you know slowly slowly build, actually have the business built and then come out in the front again and be like, okay, this is what we have, this is what we're doing, and this is how our products can help you. But more so, you don't necessarily need to buy this, and it's not a magic pill. You know, there is no magic pill. So I'm not I'm never going to tell anybody, oh, I took this product and this is what made me lose everything that I have, all my weight and things like that, because that's not true. That never happened. Uh, really what did it is is my discipline and diet because supplements are always going to be supplements they're a supplement to real food so if you can put real food in your body at all times great but that's it's very difficult to you know to be able to do that like seven days a week without taking any kind of supplements just because of everyone's hectic schedule and stuff right mm -hmm. so they help they help but your 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 mindset has to be there you can take a product all day but if you keep eating like shit and you keep you know um you know you don't you don't change any of your day-to-day -day habits you're 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 gonna go back to square one it's, it's not gonna do anything for you i think people resonate with your products because you know they see you as an example of someone that lost so much weight with the, mm -hmm. living a healthy lifestyle also having the mindset so it goes hand in hand you did talk about how you have built relationships with public figures and i know you partnered up with floyd mayweather um for the smiles full spectrum cbd brand so let, let's talk about that because there's a lot of misconceptions about cbd a lot of people are a little bit weary about it so how let's talk about your products and how they can help you achieve optimal health so we have so basically we haven't officially launched yet we've just done a you know kind of like a teaser and a, and a, a little bit of a soft launch to get an idea of what the people the consumers out there think of the the packaging you know giving out some sample sample products so people can try uh, and things of that nature um in essence cbd is good for many 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 different things um, number one, it helps you relax. Uh, it's natural. It's a, it's natural for you know anti-anxiety, um, anti-depressant. Uh, it does help with pain as well. So if you have you know a CBD infused cream that you apply in certain areas where you have pain, it'll help you with that. Um, it, it, overall, it's it's good in moderation, right? Anything is really good in moderation. It's the minute you start abusing it that it's not really, that it becomes a problem, right? So we're going to have a wide range of products uh, and, and Smiles, Smiles is, is one brand only and Smiles though is the parent slash holding company that's going to own many brands that we're doing in the CBD space. We have like seven brands already that we've started to develop uh, products for and we're gonna roll them out. And some of them are gonna be, you know, like one of them is gonna be strictly for our sales on Amazon, um, in marketplaces. One of them is gonna be for, you know, uh, doing uh, direct marketing. Many, many, many different types of um, uh, uh, go-to-market strategies we have for each one. And we're not gonna take the same one and dump it everywhere. We're gonna create like seven, you know, six, seven different brands and, and, and basically try to capture a larger market share with that. But the key is education. And that's why we're rebuilding the whole Smiles website now. Um, by the third or fourth of June, it'll be up, and we'll have you know a bunch more products on there. We're launching about with, with, when we do the grand launch, which will probably be sometime in June, July. We'll have about 40 new SKUs as compared to what we have now. You get it in isolate, but you can have it in oil. You can have it in a soft gel. So there's not really much of a difference uh, in what other people are selling, but the what it comes down to is let's say edibles like gummies so you have co different qualities of gums right so we're using the best grade the highest quality um products that you can actually get in to in order to infuse the cbd in there um and then from there our goal is to create a lot of different educational material which the consumers can actually understand hey if i take this this is what, it, if I take one gummy, this is what it would do for me. If I take two gummies, this is what it would do for me. Um, if I apply this cream, you know, what's the difference between 500 mg versus 1500 mg? You know, how much additional impact is it gonna have, right? Some people just think, oh, a higher dosage is gonna be better. It's actually, sometimes it's the complete opposite. So what our strength is gonna be is to actually reach out more to the masses 
um, and, and you know, help create videos, create different things on maximizing the usage of these products and it being, you know, beneficial for uh, everyone that takes them. But really for me, what I take it for is sleeping. It helps you sleep because it relaxes and calms your mind and it helps you sleep. Very interesting. interesting. I'm very excited for that launch. I want to go back to the limitless mindset. I think that's really important for our viewers to hear. So, you know, a lot of people use fear as an excuse to not go after their dreams or, you know, a block. So how would, what advice do you have for our viewers to develop a winning mindset and, you know, get rid of fear? This is tricky. So <laughs> it's, it's look, what's going to happen is going to happen if you don't try your the answer is going to be no you're not going to achieve it like if you you know if you have a chance at something it, it it's look fear is it, fear is a feeling right um what if the, the, you know being afraid and being happy these are this, the opposite feelings so imagine if you didn't really know what a feeling what you know how to react to a feeling you didn't know the difference of being happy versus being being scared of something right um it's common for people to get scared it you know they get scared for many reasons a lot of times it's because of insecurity or the fear of failure um i had that i had that for many many years that that's why it took me so long to actually execute on this model and come out in the front line and, and do this because i was i was afraid of what other people would think hey if i can't make this happen what are other people going to think of me right uh, but you have to, you have to give it a shot. You know, you, it, it's the person that doesn't try that's the ultimate loser in the end. Because you're all if you if you really want something, you and you don't give it a shot. Not only are you have zero percent chance of getting it, but you have zero percent chance of learning uh, something new. Because if you don't get it, you'll learn why you didn't get it or what ended up happening. So it'll change your idea perhaps of what you want and you might get a different idea of, hey, you maybe wanted this, but make a slight variation and you want something a little different. And going after the other thing, it'll, you know, you'll learn from your 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 mistake of, of you know, of, of whatever happened prior. So fear is just in the mind. Um, how to get rid of it, it's just telling, you know, telling yourself that, hey, you, you, can, you can do it and just taking the shot. Mm -hmm. I like that you said that, uh, taking a shot, taking a leap of faith, um, taking risks, because that was the introduction of my show today. It was all about taking risks and taking a leap of faith and replacing fear with faith. So it's very timely that you said that. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy risk taker. I've always have been my whole life. The only thing is I don't, I won't gamble in a casino. I, you know, I take calculated risks, but I'll take, I'll take risks, um, in business like if I, I believe in myself so if i know that i have i have the you know control of the wheel um i'll take the risk and if i fail which i have in the past um i'll learn from it and i'll get up and i'll try again i'll try again and ultimately you know it's you have to tell yourself what your end what your goal is and you start over here and you end over here and you you are going to trip and fall it's just like a road the road is not always going to be straight you know there's going to be curves there's going to be potholes there's going to be things that happen. You know, you're you're driving, your rim may get cracked, you may something may happen along the way, but the key is to get to the end destination. And when you get to the end destination, that's where everything, you know, becomes uh, uh, just looks great. Mm -hmm. I think that's great <laughs> advice. Jazz, thank you so much for being on the show today. You're very yeah. inspirational. Your mindset's inspirational. Your success is also inspirational to everyone watching. So keep up the amazing work and we hope to have you on the show soon. Excellent, thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.